Hello, beautiful people. I hope y'all having a beautiful day. What y'all doing? I'm headed to the workhouse. I got a mid shift today, 10 to 8. 10 to 8 is what I'm working. And then, guess what? I'm on vacation. I'm so excited. I need a vacation. I think everybody needs a vacation. Like, vacation helps make sure that you... See, companies need to realize this. Com vacation makes your make sure people stay at your job because we get tired of your job we get tired of these companies and stuff so we need vacation to get away so that we can forget we got a job so then when we come back we are refreshed and we can continue to do our work because we don't want to be there well, don't nobody want to work at your job so that's why vacations are important see i'll probably have a better attitude when i come back not really probably won't but it'll be yeah, it'll probably be a little bit better. But, yeah, I'm excited for vacation. I love vacation. I feel like you should get a vacation, like, every other month. I really do. I won't say every month. That might be pushing it, okay? But every other month, I, I feel like you need to get away from it. I feel like it. Maybe we should run that bill through Congress or something. Don't y'all agree? Just a vacation every other month. Yeah. yeah. It'd make for happier employees, I know. I would be a happier employee job thing we just love our job we don't love our job so we just want to pay the bills that's all we want to do that's all we just want to come in there and do what we supposed to do go home we don't want no extra aggravation no extra yeah we don't want all the extra shit yeah so don't anyway we going on a cruise i don't know if i've even told y'all I don't talk about it on the live, but anyway, yeah, I'm going on a cruise. We're leaving Saturday. Actually, we're going to leave Friday and head to the to the place, and then Saturday we'll be leaving, I believe. I believe that's it. I'm excited. Did y'all know that I like going on cruise? Oh, so Eric just um, messaged me back, and I told him, y'all, you know, I told y'all my other vehicle wasn't really tore up, that it was something else, and it was kind of awful, kind of. Anyway, so I told Eric, because it's still at my mama's. I just left it over there. And um, I said, so we're going to take my other vehicle? He's going to talk about he's scared. He's scared to take it. Ain't nothing wrong with a the vehicle, they said. But we ain't taking this one because the thing drinks gas. So it drinks a lot of gas. And I'm trying to save these tires, but I've been having to drive. Okay, so I got this vehicle in February. And it has 6,000 miles on it. That's how many it had. It's got 22,000 miles on it now. <coughs> and, um, you know why I'm trying to save these tires? Because I got these big old, they ain't real huge, but they the mud tires or whatever. Like, them, it's, it's got a lift kit on it and stuff. And so they got them big tires. And um, I asked the tire people, I said, how much you think it's going to be to replace these tires? I didn't put this lift kit and tires on there. This is how it come. And, um. Probably fifteen, eighteen, two thousand dollars. <gasps> so when these tires go bad, I'm just not gonna have no more tires for this truck. Because fifteen hundred dollars at the minimum for some tires. Who? They better last me two years. That's a lot of money for some tires. I'm gonna say take out, take that lift kit off and give me some small tires. That's what I'm gonna tell them. Mama, it would look funny if it didn't have the big tires. Anyway, sugar, I feel like I'm just rambling to you. Anyway, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit, see how your day was going, and that's all. Y'all have a great um, Wednesday. Have a great one. Bye-bye now.